this is going to be an unboxing of my new headset which I'm going to review for a bit for you guys and I'm going to show you a bit of a quality test and stuff and I'm going to show you why this microphone is a lot better than Blue Snowball so uh, let's just get to the unboxing so let's go! doesn't want to focus. But yeah, this is basically uh, the product itself. So it is called the GP Rumble Gaming Headset, uh, as you can as you can see here. Here, I'm gonna, gonna make the camera focus. So it's called the uh, GP Rumble right there, and it's a stereo surround headset which works on PC and it also works on PlayStation 3 if you guys are interested in that. So I'm just gonna unbox it here. And take it out. And there we go, and there's kind of like the box in all of its glory, but we're going to get to the uh, headset itself. So, um, that, that, that's cool I suppose. Um, so we get like the instruction manual that kind of tells us how to, no one cares. Okay, so this is kind of the main part itself. Um, it comes with a whole set of cables. So, the cable that it, it, it is always attached to, which is this one here, um, comes like with a very, very long wire. So it doesn't actually say how long the wire is, but this instruction manual, if I, uh, if I just hold it up to the camera, has got a load of instructions for um, PlayStation and for PC, which basically teaches you how to install a headset, but I'm kind of a tech genius. I'm like the Bill Gates of our generation, so I know how to do it. I'm obviously joking. So this is the headset itself. It is um, all made of cushion, uh, it, like very nice foamy like material. Um, the top of it here is probably my favorite bit. It's kind of like netting, so when you wear it on your head for a very long period of time, it doesn't make your head like sweat a whole lot or it doesn't um, create some sort of uncomfy, uncomfy environment. It is actually very, very comfortable. And uh, here is the microphone. It's very kind of flexible, so you can have it kind of any way you want. You can have it like behind your head for some bizarre reason if your mouth was behind your head. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. So as I was saying with the cables, so I'm gonna tell you what each cable is specifically for. So this cable here is used for the PlayStation 3, so it connects to this device here, if you see, um, plugs into there which is your headphone jack and then your red and white component audio cables for your PlayStation will go in to uh, the back of these which basically allows the headset to pick up audio so we take this off now and just put this to one side because that is PlayStation and um, this here is for some bizarre reason if you don't think the headset itself is long enough then you have um, these two cables here which are headset USB extenders so basically that will go on the end of here I believe like like so it'll go like that and then it can extend a whole lot further but if you see how much wire is actually here there is quite a long distance so I don't know if like you wanted to obviously have your headset plugged in downstairs and uh, use it upstairs but I imagine the wire itself is long enough so we're gonna put that to one side also so we're gonna kind of look at the control here um, and I'll explain it a little bit more for you guys okay so if we take a look at this now um, we have one two three and four settings so basically we have the chat volume uh, here at the uh, here right here we have the game volume here and then we have the rumble mode here which I'll go in more depth later and um, we also have a mute button here. So the interesting thing about this is that the chat volume, say you're in Skype and you're playing a game such as Call of Duty, the chat volume will genuinely control Skype. It, um, it very much works like an Xbox headset where you can control of people's voices in party chat and the actual game volume. Um, you can actually control Skype with the chat volume. So I thought that was quite cool. And um, that's basically them too. Obviously you've got your mic mute button, which, you know, mute your mic. Um, and then we have rumble mode here. I, I don't think it's going to focus enough for you guys to read it. Um, but it says rumble mode and then an on and off switch. And basically what rumble mode is, is it um, when the headset is on your head, the bass intensifies and it kind of wobbles a little bit. It sounds silly. I can't really explain it fully without kind of sounding silly. It basically kind of like intensifies the bass. So it'll go kind of like a boom, boom, boom. 
boom, like that. It just makes the overall audio quality a lot better. So it's definitely a plus feature, which is a very, very good thing. So I'm now going to show you the headset, what it looks like when it's on my head for some reason, if you guys kind of want to see that. So as you can see, the headset is actually a very, very small head. It's not like overly huge. Like some headsets are really like excessively big, but this one isn't. Um, it fits perfectly on my head. Mic is perfect distance to my mouth. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the headset in on, on my... Uh, on my head. So yeah guys, that is pretty much it. That is the ORB Rumble headset. Um, I'm now gonna show you a quick mic quality test just to show you guys just how great the audio quality of this headset is. Um, so yeah, we'll jump to that clip now. Okay guys, so this is the quality test of the ORB GP Rumble headset. And as you can see, the quality is actually very good. I was comparing it in the video prior um, and I was comparing it to the Blue Snowball microphone, which I do actually have on and personally I believe that this one is better not just for the sound quality, but for the ease of access um, Obviously using a Blue Snowball You've got to be quite close to it to get fine detail in your voice and you have to kind of have it situated near you as I am recording on a laptop having a Microphone like kind of right next to my laptop where the fan is and stuff It's kind of like not the easiest of things to do so when I have this on my head as a headset, it's a lot easier to use. So yeah guys, I really do hope you enjoyed the review. I've never actually done one of these, so feedback is very much appreciated. As always, I would love if you could leave a like on this video and subscribe if you are new to my channel. And please leave in the comment section below what you thought of the video and if you would like me to do any more reviews in the future. I'll see you guys in the next video and have a lovely day.